Good morning, Green Build. Thank you so much for inviting me to help cap off uh, what I know has been an inspiring week of, of programming and really a huge congratulations to the U.S. Green Building Council on your 30th anniversary. Because, you know, for 30 years, I know you know this, this group has been raising the bar for all that lean, clean, green buildings can be. You know, high performing, waste fighting, business assets, healthier spaces to live, work and play, and one of our greatest tools for fighting the climate crisis. There is no doubt, there has never been a more important time to be in this space. You know this well, the planet obviously has just experienced its hottest summer on record. There have already been more extreme weather events this year than any year before, and it's only September. We need to be all in on getting to net zero emissions by 2050, and the path there runs straight through our building stock. President Biden knows this. This is why we now have enormous incentives for building owners and for operators, for tenants, to boost their energy efficiency, to invest in clean energy solutions. And let me add, there has never been a more exciting time to be in this space. For the next decade and beyond, folks are going to be looking at this group to design and engineer more resilient, climate-responsive buildings and to supply more innovative building technologies and to make their portfolios more efficient and ultimately zero carbon. Just to let you know that the Department of Energy, we are here to help make the most of this enormous opportunity with you. We are hard at work helping to implement, for example, these new tax incentives, incredibly generous, historic tax incentives, and then hustling funding out the door from the bipartisan infrastructure law and the Inflation Reduction Act, which I know you've heard so much about this week. And meanwhile, our building technologies team has set its sights on helping America achieve a net zero building sector by 2050. We're pushing the envelope with innovative strategies for reducing energy usage. We're slashing on-site emissions. We're integrating every building with the grid. And we're doing it all with an intense focus on promoting American manufacturing, creating good paying jobs and ensuring that every community can benefit from these sol solutions no matter their zip code. As we go, we're sharing our findings with all of you so that you can turn them into real world impact. Many of you are obviously familiar with the public private partnership programs that we offer from Better Buildings and now the Better Climate Challenge. We are so proud that to date, more than 150 organizations, including many USGBC members, have joined this new challenge. And in doing so, they've committed to slashing their emissions in half, not in 30 years, not in 20 years, but in just 10 years. I know that is no small task, but frankly, with all that we're seeing, that is the level of urgency that we need to see from everybody. So beyond policies, we need promotion. We need all of you to be shouting from the green building rooftops, <laughs> touting all the benefits that, that our incentives and your solutions can bring to corporate America. And more than that, we need you to keep raising the bar. Energy efficiency is now well within our grasp, so we need to now reach further and bring every building and every project closer to net zero. There's just never been a more important and, and more exciting time to be in the green buildings game. And the federal government has never been a bigger booster for this team. 30 years from now, 2050 will have come and gone. And let it be said that the USGBC and its partners in this room once again led the way to make it a healthier, safer future for our children and our grandchildren. Thank you all so much.